And a good evening to everybody here at 88.5 FM WVOF in Fairfield, Connecticut. Joe Kelly here doing it to it with the Upper Room on a Monday evening, a wintry day today where I live. I live a bit, little bit to the north. We had snow here on the shore, rain, the northeast. Got to love it or got to get a little tired of it and move back down south. As our next guest, we were talking off air. It's been three years since we had this immensely talented artist, vocalist, composer, musician on our show. And uh, that's way too long. He's got a brand new single and a great video as well, working on new music. We welcome once again to WVOF and the Upper Room with Joe Kelly, Mr. Cleveland P. Jones. How you doing, Cleve? I'm great. So glad to be here, Joe. Thank you for having me back. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm sure uh, up in Boston... If we get a snowstorm down here, you, you get the same and maybe even a little worse. So uh, <laughs> you don't miss it too much, right? I don't miss it too much at all. Uh huh. <laughs> Not much at all. No. Um, you know, I, I do have good people there. Right. You know, but other than that, I you know I'll see them when I see them. <laughs> that's, <laughs> kind of one of them. that's right. Or yeah. they can come down and, and see you do <laughs> your thing. Right? Come, come down and see me and, and get some good sunlight. How about that? That's right. Since yeah. since we last talked, um, Asa Hart, the uh, mm-hmm. Your, your debut record that was three years ago that we spoke and uh, right. you you were in Boston and and uh, in a synopsis uh, what's been going on in uh, up until today? Well, I uh, just been working on brand new music, um, you know, traveling a little bit more, still going back and forth to Boston. Well, this summer I did, and was mainly just saying, you know, how do you recreate Cleveland? Um, how do you make the next new you? You know, um, and that's what I've been doing, just diligently working on more production, writing, and just excited about myself, you know, as far as being happier in, in, in life and making better choices and, you know, chasing this music and never letting it go because I can't do it. It's in me. I have to keep going. Now, you, you came out of such a creative uh, environment, mm-hmm. Berkeley College yeah. of Music, with you yeah. know, everybody has their mindset either on the business end or, or uh, mm-hmm. you know, the music end. Uh, what did you... Uh, focus. What was your major out there? When I was there, I actually just majored in what was con- well. It's called professional music. That's the degree that I got. Okay. But I mainly concentrated in the music ed and um, performance. So mainly vocal performance was one of the main things in um, music education. Yeah, I-, I thought I was going to teach, but it just took a little bit too long to finish. So I went ahead and got the degree and didn't you know do all the other stuff. <laughs> all right. I have, yeah, it just taking a little bit too long, and it was a lot of money. So it's time yeah. to move on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, so the program out there is it two or four years? Uh, it's four years. Four years. Four okay. Years. Mm-hmm. And um, prior to that, uh, you were at Morehouse, right? Absolutely, one of the best experiences of my life. That's right. Which which is um, based out of where you are now, right? Yes, Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, Morehouse College. Right. So Cleveland P. Jones is with us, and uh, we're, we're talking about his new music, and we're going to get in, in just a bit into the new single called Mistakes. And um, for, our, for our listeners that didn't uh, uh, listen three years ago, but, um, you know, tell us about when you first discovered your voice. Oh, my gosh. I, I would say my mom discovered it more so than me. Um, I was around, you know, I, you know, we have to give an age to it. So I was right. nine years old. Okay. I was singing around the house cleaning up. My mom heard me, and she said, you're going to sing in church on Sunday. And I said, no, I'm not. Mm-hmm. You know, because I was kind of a shy kid. Well, pretty much, pretty shy. Mm-hmm. But basically, you know, she was mom, and so she ruled, and so she won. So I went up, and I just started singing, and she started taking me to different places um, in church, you know, different churches, and here I go. And it started right there. So I was around nine years old. Mm-hmm. I kind of discovered what was going on and, um, you know, very shy about it because, you know, I was always told that my voice was unique. Right. So um, I didn't take unique as uh, a good thing, per se, at the time. Uh-huh. So um, I understand it now, but then I didn't get it. So, um, so yeah, but it, it was around nine years old, singing in church, you know, the gospel thing, and um, learning whatever mom played around the house, which is mainly gospel and sometimes some R&B, but not much. Um, and from then on, I just kept going. Then I eventually, of course, went to Morehouse College, signed the Glee Club, and um, just started pursuing the underground um, scene in Atlanta and started doing backgrounds for many artists, and then eventually just came to the forefront and just did a solo, and here I am today. <laughs> yeah, with, <laughs> like, some, with some great yeah. music, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, before we get into the, the new single from Cleveland P. Jones called Mistakes, um, 
what is the best place people can go to hear your music and, and buy your yeah. music? Absolutely. You can go right to iTunes, and um, you can go to Google Play. You can go to Amazon right there digitally everywhere, pretty much. Mistakes is there. Right. And uh, we'll talk about the video, but first, this is yeah. the, the great new song from Cleveland P. Jones, our special guest right now. It's called Mistakes, and we'll come back and uh, talk with Cleveland in just a few moments. All right, brand new single from my special guest right now, Cleveland P. Jones, called Mistakes here on The Upper Room and WVOF. And, uh, man, you, you, you came with another good one. We're looking forward to uh, that complete record, which I know you got a bunch of tracks uh, I do. Put them together, right? I do. I'm just trying to make a decision what is best to put out and what not, and you know, just filling my, just filling it out. So I'm taking my time with it. I don't want to rush anything. Um, I'm going to let you know mistakes do what it needs to do. I, I, I have a long way to go as far as you know, getting more marketing and promo on it. So I'm going to you know, be a little smarter right. this time than yeah. I was in the first album. Yeah. Now, now you're an indie artist. We talked a lot off air yeah. about about mm -hmm. things, but the, the video. Um, mm -hmm. Which for mistakes, which is outstanding, and thank you, uh, thank you. People can go to your website, and they also could just mm -hmm. type in uh, videos in Google search Cleveland P. Jones. Uh, yeah, man, you know, independent artist, but it's it's extremely well shot and, and shows, you. shows your talents playing piano and singing. And uh, yeah, talk, talk about talk about the video and putting it sure. together. Well, first of all, I got to get the biggest shout out to um, Michael Ma. Um, who was the director, and it was just literally he and I um, in, in the wonderful loft that one of my great friends, um, Mr. David Feldman, said, hey, man, you know, if you just give me some, uh, <laughs> buy me some, uh, some, some frozen fruit for the smoothie, you can use my, my space to, to, uh, to shoot the video. I was like, wow, that's it. Uh -huh. So, you know, just good people. So uh, Michael, he did it, you know, from, the, from his heart. He was so encouraging, so enlightening as well during the process. Um, and then more so, like, I had an idea in my head what I wanted for it, but he, you know, but then something said, you know, make this personal, way more personal than, because it is a personal song, but just, you know, visually as well. Um, he just helped me through the entire process of, you know, how we should shoot it, you know, initially in the video what people don't see, which, which didn't get on the, um, you know, on the video was, um, it was supposed to be that I had a long night and I was, <laughs> and I was drunk. Uh -huh. I don't even drink, so... Uh -huh. The funniest so uh, there was a a, a, a bottle of, of bourbon on the beside the bed and all the stuff. But it was like you know, it's really not who I am, you know. Right. So we 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 didn't put that little part in there. But um, he just had just the right concept of 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 welcoming who I am to the public as far as visually, and I just really appreciate him for that. I mean, he totally encouraged me and said, Cleveland, you know, you know, put those shoulders out, you know, go out and you know, this is how you're going to do it. But he he just helped me to be, you know. I guess because I, I was okay. Let's be real. I was I was a little scared for, with the camera, mm -hmm. <laughs> but he just said if you could just be yourself, everything goes well. And that's what I decided to do. Just break the ice. So big shouts out again to Michael Moss for just being such a great director, a great vision. Because literally, what you saw was his vision. I just really picked out the um, <laughs> the sweater I was going to put on. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll you that. <laughs> Thanks. Plus, you got so cool, you got cool glasses too. Thanks, yes, yes. Those are Ricky Smiley glasses. I was trying to hashtag him on that, too. So, Ricky Smiley, if you're listening, I was wearing your frames in the gla in, in the video of Mistake. So, go check go. it out. There you yeah. go. Nice, nice, yeah. nice collaboration. If you guys can get together on that. That would be wonderful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got Cleveland P. Jones, our special guest. And, um, you know, um, you talked about, you know, the, the upbringing with the gospel music. How about some of your, mm -hmm. your favorite artists um, that... Uh, that you got into before uh, you started recording yourself? Well, I, I was, um, well, you know, again, it was based on a lot of what my mom played. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge Whitney Houston fan. Um, again, I grew up with the Prince and Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, but on, on the gospel side, there was Yolanda Adams, um, uh, Vanessa Bell Armstrong, Daryl Coley. Um, oh, my gosh, there's so many to name. James Cleveland. So a lot of the traditional gospel that is, um, you know, I grew up more in that vein. So it was just a huge, huge influence on what I do today. So, um, you know, I get my little, I just kind of know how to wail a little bit, <laughs> you know, right. just think from the heart and um, stop being all concerned about it being so, quote, unquote, pretty. Mm -hmm. Just think. Think from your heart. And that's all I know to do. You know, just think from my heart. And I think that's what comes across. But the, that background for me was definitely, you know, the gospel music that I played in the house all the time. Again, the Yolanda Adams, the um, Vanessa Armstrong, um, the Clark Sisters, and all that stuff. It was just, I mean, it was just 
all the time in the house. That's all I knew. Yeah. Hey, that's that's not bad at all. So so uh, all. let's talk yeah. about jamming with the shadow boxers. Oh man, uh-huh. I love those guys. Uh-huh. Shout out to you guys. Hey, shadow boxers. You know, um, it was such an honor. Um, it was it was January of this year. Hopefully, I get to do it again soon. Um, I was. Um, called, you know, to, to be a special guest on stage with them in Atlanta at um, Terminal West at a sold-out show. And they, when I, when they first told me, it was like, they gave me pretty much like a day ahead. So I didn't really know whether they wanted me just to come in and ad-lib on a song or was I supposed to sing it. So when I got to the sound check, they said, oh, no, 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 you're going to lead the song. I said, whoa. So I, I didn't know that. So of course, you know, I had my little, my little notes here and there and I got up and I sang the song, and it was just truly one of the biggest experiences I think I've ever had. And not only that, um, I, I, I said to them, I said, how did, how did Michael Jackson or Prince do this? Like, how could they take in the screaming crowd, the people, you know, screaming for them? I had experienced that that night, and it was over. It was beautiful, but it was overwhelming. Like, I literally cried. So I'm like, how do you guys do it? You know, but I, all I can say is um, I loved it, and um, I'll do it again. So if they would have me again, I would love to do that again. That was exciting. Yeah, and I'm sure many more moments going to be like that for you because you, you know, I, I think so. Yeah. I, I feel it. I do. You 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 got a world of talent, and uh, thank you. We're looking 2017 for for this the second album from uh, Cleveland P. Yeah. Jones, right? Yes, absolutely. It's titled Human, so that means there's a vast of many things. So it right. could be a, you know a, a little bit of fusions with the with some jazz. Uh, with some soul, um, who knows, maybe even country and blues, who knows. I'm just filling myself out with things, um, something a little bit dancey, mm-hmm. just filling it out. And um, But again, the title of it, Human, means that anything can happen because as humans, we have many experiences in life. Life is a series of moments. So I try to, you, you know, think about it from that, that standpoint, you know, and I'm writing from that place. So it's a lot about love, humanity, and what's going on here socially within the world. You know, what, what can we do to make love the, the priority again? So that's what I'm about. All right. Really nice guy and uh, world of talent, Mr. Cleveland Thank P. You. Jones. Thank uh, you, Joe. Please go to iTunes and uh, all the digital out, uh, downloads for his latest CD uh, mm-hmm. single called uh, Mistakes. And yes. also uh, you can watch the video, which, which yeah. is outstanding as well. And, Thank and you. Uh, we're going to go out with uh, something from your premiere album called Ace of and, Heart. This is and called can I say Patience. One more thing? Oh, yeah, and go can ahead. I say thank you. Just want to say big love and thank you so much, Jill Monroe. Yeah, Just Jill Monroe, love we you. love you. Yes, love she, you too. And to Barbara Thomas. <laughs> yeah, Barbara Thomas up in up in your old stomping grounds, Keith Thomas yes. up in uh, Boston. So, hey, you, su- you surround yourself with uh, beautiful and talented ladies. Yes, I do. There you go. They're, they're, they're amazing. So right. big love to you. And thank you so much again. Yeah. Hey, hey uh, Cleveland, Sherry Carter. Sherry Carter. There it is. I looked name. it up for you. <laughs> One of my crushes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I have to- Sherry Carter, I have the biggest crush on you about, ever since I was a little watching uh, Video watching Soul. TV video Soul. <laughs> okay, that's and, all. Yeah, and Donnie Simpson, <laughs> dig up on Cleveland Jones. This oh, is, yeah, uh, please, Donnie Simpson. Hey, let's work together, sir. Why that's, not? That's right. You know? Cleveland P. Jones. Thanks, Cleve. Mm-hmm.